you guys welcome back thanks for checking out another video so in my last video I said I think the real test is when I start to do denim um, again this is a good beginner sewing machine for me you know let's see if it can sew denim well today we are gonna find out I have a few pieces of denim here some of my heaviest denim heaviest weight and I'm going to be using this Brother LX 3817 to sew on this denim, and we're gonna see how well it actually holds up to a more sturdy material. So let me show you what I'm working with today. For the straight stitch, I'm going to use this standard cone of white thread. It's gonna be a great contrast um, against the dark denim to see how these stitches are really coming out. And guys, I know, I know, this is serger thread, but let me tell you, we use this thread on industry sewing machines throughout my entire grad program, and I've gotten used to using it, and it's worked just fine so far, um, and it will do today for our demonstration. Um, for the bobbin thread, I also have um, the same. Again, I know that there is bobbin thread that you can buy separately in the store, but I've never spent my money on it. Um, using the same thread as a top has always worked well for me. There has been times when I had noticed that um, my weight of thread on the bobbin needed to be different from my thread on top, my machine thread, and I just made that adjustment. That usually happens when I have a thicker thread like this one that I'm using um, in the machine. So this is an actual top stitching thread um, in the classic jeans color, okay? Um, as far as my needles, so I am going to show you um, how needles can affect your sewing. So I'm gonna do a little bit of experimenting today. Um, I have an Oregon brand needle here. This is size 18. This is the largest size needle that you can buy. Okay, this is for heavy duty materials. Um, so I'm going to sew a straight stitch, straight stitch on my fabric and do a top stitch with that needle as well. And then I'm going to use a jeans denim needle, an actual denim needle. Um, on this material and use an actual top stitching needle, okay, with the top stitching thread. Um, I have here, this is size 12 top stitching needle, and I have another set as well. This is size 14, so of course it's a bit thicker needle. And this jeans needle is size 16. So size 18 is the thickest, strongest needle that you can buy. Um, I have the next strongest for this jean, and then um, there's my top stitching needle. So we're gonna take a look together to see if there isn't a difference in the stitching and to see how the needles affect how the stitches come out on the sewing machine, okay? We're gonna set up this machine for success to give us the best stitch possible. And let's see how it does. So I'm going to go ahead and thread this. Let's go back over our threading steps here. Um, of course, on every machine, there's going to be some sort of hook here at the top for your thread. That's going to be the first step. And then you are going to bring your thread down through this slot. Now, someone made, um, one of you awesome viewers made an um, awesome, awesome comment that you noticed that my presser foot was up in the last video when I was threading my machine um, and asked if I could talk about it. Alrighty guys, so the reason why I lift my presser foot when I'm threading, it's absolutely crucial, it's completely, it's so important. Right here in this slot, this is not just a slit in your sewing machine. Inside of here are two discs that press against each other and they release and they're controlled by this knob here so how much they press against each other um, or how loosely they press against each other those discs are controlled by here what brings those dis discs together and releases them is 
the presser foot. So right now, those discs are clamped together. If I were to try to thread my needle right now, my thread will not go between those discs and there'll be no tension applied to my thread. Okay, so with, when lifting it, I release those discs and I'm able to put my thread in between those two, um, in between those open discs. Okay, um, and I like to do something my instructors always told us to do um, is floss your machine to make sure your thread is really in between those discs. All right, so now I'm gonna bring it up to the other side. I'm going through that shepherd's hook here. Um, and this is actually related to your needle. So the highest point of your needle is the highest point that this hook will be. Um, I'm gonna bring it down through the hook that brings the thread close to the needle itself. And I'm gonna stop because we're gonna change this needle. On this machine, you need this little um, tool here. And it's just a simple um, screw that they put here. I'm telling you, this thing is inex inexpensive because they totally stripped it down. <laughs> they said, we're not putting a knob on this. We're gonna leave it as just a screw. So, this is my Oregon brand needle size 18 that I'm putting in right now. I wanna make sure this is completely unwound so that I can push this needle up as far as possible. And then I'll go ahead and tighten it. It can happen, guys, that if you're doing a lot of sewing and this isn't very tight, their screw will come undone. Oh, there that went. And um, your needle will fall out. Your machine isn't broken. You just need to tighten your screw. Um, now, one of the things that can affect your sewing as far as needles go is a dull tip. Um, your tip can be dull, can become dull for several different reasons. Um, so I'm going to sew my fabric. Actually, let me line this up. I'm gonna sew my fabric at one half inch. Um, guys, you notice I just put my presser foot down. Um, this is a mistake that I see quite a bit, especially with young or new sewers. Um, they put their material under and they step on uh, the pedal and their thread bunches up and the machine makes a terrible noise. Um, you have to remember to put your presser foot down in order to anchor that fabric. Um, another thing I like to do before I sew, I always sink, this is what I call it, I always sink my needle into my fabric, especially if I have a thicker fabric. Okay, let's see how this thing does. Here we go. Okay, so, so far, I can hear this needle working hard to get through this material. Okay. Hey, that looks nice. Not too bad. So that's my straight stitch. And now I'm going to change this and do my top stitch on the opposite side and see. Okay, and now for the top stitch. I'm just going to fold the seam allowance over to one side. And I'm gonna use the edge of my presser foot on the edge of the seam. This needle is working really hard to get through this material. Not bad. There, do, there is some adjusting that needs to be done 
and the tension because we can see the top stitching threads on the opposite side. However, on the front side, this looks nice and flat. There aren't any sti uh, skip stitches. Um, so we're gonna leave this here and let's compare it to using an actual denim needle and a top stitching needle. And I have my jeans needle size 16 on. Let's see if now our machine isn't able to sew with a little bit more ease. Here we go. Oh my goodness. This is a difference. This is a big difference. Nice, that was so smooth. And so perfect. Nice. So that is sewing with a denim needle. The machine wasn't as noisy. I could feel the needle just going through um, the fabric nicely. There wasn't any extra effort. Um, it's very nice. So that is my jeans needle. Like I said, I'm going to now use an actual top stitching needle. And I'm going to see, let me put this next to my jeans needle. I'm going to see um, how well this works. Now guys, the top stitching needle, um, you can always tell which needle is your top stitching needle because the top stitching needle has an extra long eye. Okay, it's very oval shape and it's very long. So even if you don't have um, a system of keeping your needles, let's say you threw it inside of here, um, you could still tell which one is the top stitching needle by looking at the eye of it. It's very long and very oval. Here we go again. I'm gonna use the edge of my presser foot along this crease. nice that is nice so the thing about your top stitching needle is that it is made to give you evenly spaced straight stitches every time
finished sewing for you a zipper um, on the sewing machine. Overall, it came out really nicely. Um, I can tell you with the multiple layers, the layer of the zipper, the two layers of the fabric, um, the size of the top stitch needle, um, I could hear it working pretty hard. So going up to the next size with this many layers, um, or using just a thicker, thicker needle overall um, would really help in this situation. Um, the other thing that I noticed when sewing a zipper with heavier material is that the little presser foot that came with this machine, the little plastic presser foot, y'all, it was barely holding on. It was about to fall off um, because it's so light and it was trying to clamp down this heavy fabric. Um, I really did think it was gonna pop off, but it held on. So that's something to think about if you have this machine and you know that you're gonna be sewing heavier materials with a zipper, you might want to invest in actually buying a metal um, zipper. All right guys, that's it. Thank you again so much for watching, for coming back again. Um, guys, Christmas is just around the corner. It's just next week. I want to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas. Um, I hope that your day is filled with family and friends, with love and warmth. And if you happen to be watching this video and you've gotten to this point and your Christmas is not as happy because, hey, let's be real, sometimes the holidays are the worst time of year for some of us. I pray for your comfort, for your peace, and for your strength to get through this time and to see a brighter day. So thank you guys. Have a great one and I'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, before you go, if you haven't gone to Instagram to check out Sew Into It Lessons, go on over and take a look. I am on Facebook, I'm on Instagram. You can find more information about my sewing lessons, about my classes at sewintoitlessons.com and at sewintoit on Facebook and Instagram. Bye.